Hi, my name is Brady Allred. I'm a rangeland ecologist at the University of Montana and a science advisor to the NRCS. Today, I'm going to take a few minutes to introduce the Rangeland Analysis Platform, or RAP, as it's commonly referred to. I'd like to recognize my co-authors, and in particular, Jeremy Maestas. Later on, Jeremy's going to talk about RAP in action and he's going to demonstrate how it's being used to change rangeland management and conservation across the western United States. So what is RAP? RAP is actually two things. The first it is a group of data sets that we've produced. And the two primary data sets is an estimate of rangeland cover available at annual time steps. The second is an estimate of rangeland production that is herbaceous forage me measured in pounds per acre. It's also available at an annual time steps, but in addition to that, it's available at 16 day time steps within any given year. Both these data sets are the foundation of RAP, and they're available for the entire Western United States and from the mid 1980s to the present day. Now the second thing that RAP is, is it's a web application. These data sets are very large and can be hard to work with. We recognize that and we wanted people to be able to interact with it in a very easy to use way. So we built a web application available at rangelands.app where anyone can go and visualize these data sets. They can also do simple analyses and, and in particular look at the trend in vegetation cover and production across a pasture, a ranch, a watershed, or, any, or a larger region. So how did we make RAP? The first thing you need to realize is that we used the NRCS, NRI, and BLM AIM datasets. Now many of you have probably helped collect these data or interacted with these data in some form or fashion through the years. And for that, I thank you. These datasets are invaluable. Now the same time we were collecting these datasets, there were satellites orbiting the, orbiting the Earth, taking pictures constantly, and this has been happening for nearly four decades now. Now what we did is with the rise of cloud computing, we were able to combine the on-the-ground data sets with the satellite imagery to produce maps of rangeland cover and rangeland production for the entire western United States. These maps are available at a medium to fine resolution of approximately 30 meters. Now to put that in context, 30 meters is about the size of a baseball diamond. So the RAP provides an estimate of vegetation cover, continuous vegetation cover, that is from 0 to 75 percent of the, I'm sorry, from 0 to 100 percent of the following functional groups. Perennial forbs and grasses, annual forbs and grasses, shrubs, trees, and bare ground. And we produced these estimates across the entire Western United States and from 1984 to present. Now, if you're wondering how many baseball diamonds actually fit in the Western United States, it's a lot. It's about five and a half billion. And for each one of those, we have an estimate of vegetation cover, continuous cover. Now, we use this estimate of vegetation cover to help us produce an estimate of rangeland production or herbaceous biomass. And this data set is also separated into two different categories, perennial forbs and grasses and annual forbs of grasses. It is available for the same geography and for nearly the same time period from 1986 to present. And of course, it's available at the same resolution, 30 meters. These data sets are available annually, that is 1986, 1987, 1988, all the way up until present day, and gives us an estimate of annual production. It's also available every 16 days within a given year. So within any one of these years, you can look at the growth curve of rangeland production from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. These data sets in combination with the vegetation cover data are invaluable. They can help us make decisions and help us plan for rangeland management. Now, as I said, 
These data sets are hard to work with, but we created the Rangeland Analysis Platform for you to be able to interact and visualize and use these data sets in your planning and management. I encourage you to go to the RAP, to go to rangelands.app. Take a look around. There's information on there on how to use it and what it can be used for. If you have any questions or any trouble, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you very much.